really mad my relationship with him i i was just like i'm done with this guy this is my father did to ruin my marriage for oh, it's eight o'clock she's still sleeping so I had to sleep without my net on and this morning I was just struggling with the hair so I had to tie it like this welcome back to my channel good morning how are you guys doing good to see you it's Sunday morning yeah you're seeing me for the first time hi how are you doing my name is Foro please consider joining the family by subscribing so in this video I'm just going to get ready for church and just chit chat to you some of the things my father did to ruin my marriage but i am grateful so you know at that beginning stage there's a lot of crazy things my father did that would have just made my husband say shit i need to marry again what is this i'm not marrying again but and then i used to look at him like he was the monster look at the fine pocket we have pocket there for this thing it should start putting pocket there's pocket huh? i forgot now look me get this thing, there's pockets <laughs> so, but I am grateful he did those things today looking back I am so so grateful uh, my kids are sleeping and I'm just trying to catch up on two things before they wake up because once they wake up <laughs> oh God, it hot so, I like to wake up a little bit earlier than them so that I can catch up with my brain and just catch up with everything before Makeup. So first of all, before I go with them, I'm just going to um, start making breakfast and all those things so that once I make them up, they'll be and they'll get ready for their online church. They've so uh, they've not been going to church since the whole pandemic started, but they've just been doing online service. So which I'm going to prepare them. I prepare them every Sunday for the online service. And uh, me too. I've not been to church for a while. Yeah, I've not been to church for a while, but um, I'm just going to get ready and go to church today because I really want to go to church today. I really, really want to go to church today. So before we, so let's, let's do some few things before we, you know, get chitty chatty. <laughs> Sundays my nanny doesn't come to work 
collections some they usually have off days so i just like do most of the stuff on sundays although i have my uh, my sister my little sister that stays with me too but she's still sleeping at eight o'clock she's still sleeping this kids are enjoying so i'll just wash the dishes put this on the fire before she wakes up to bathe the the my younger kid and that's it so let's just chat why i do these things things um my dad told my husband that i was like are you i feel all right he told when my husband came to mind you he already knows who my husband was because my, if you watch my how i met my husband video i'm going to be linking it up here you will know that my husband used to be our neighbor uh so my dad loved my husband just as a street neighbor he loved him mm -hmm. he, he really liked him but um, um, I never introduced him to my dad as my boyfriend or my fiancé until I was very very sure that he was ready to get married to me. So even after he proposed, I was still like dilly dallying until he was sure, like we were so sure because I didn't want him to go see my dad and then he would not end up saying you know, we're married again. So we would have to stuck. Okay, so I was so sure, I, I was so sure we saved up the traditional right money and everything so that once he sees my dad he will just start the whole process so my, my dad seeing him he wasn't new because he's somebody he knew already so it wasn't you know that feeling when you're missing your own love for the first time he wasn't there because my dad already knew him so the first time he came my dad said she can't she doesn't like cleaning the house she doesn't like washing plates she doesn't like doing house chores will you marry her like that because if you marry her and you take her home and you find out that she doesn't like doing these things and there's no reform so you know nigerian parents and their whole policies <laughs> if you don't order and it's delivered to you it's delivered you cannot return and i was like wow I see it like I died. I just died when he said that I died. Like because I was I was by the corner listening to what they were saying because I don't trust my dad one bit. I don't trust him. So I literally died. Let me let me not be doing video and forget what I'm doing, okay? Because sometimes it's so difficult to be talking and be doing something. So I literally died. I was like, who does that? Who tells their in law the first time they come to visit them that their child is <laughs> incapable <laughs> with house chores? Who does that? That was what I was just saying in my mind. And at this point, I was so sure that my husband was going to go away and never come back because I felt like who wants to marry a woman that doesn't know how to do anything in the house or that doesn't like doing chores? So. They talked, they went on talking other things and my husband, I walked into the car, but <laughs> when I walked into the car, I was so quiet. My husband didn't know I had heard everything my dad said. I was so, so quiet, so quiet that, well, he noticed that then he was asking me what the problem, I didn't even say anything, I just pretended like I did not know what went on. But in my mind, I was like, <laughs> okay, now. So my partner and I want to be village people. No problem. Since you want me to be on a candy, I will stay here with you, and me and your wife is going to be driving for. I just consoled myself with that, and I was so angry. I stopped being cheerful. All we had together was good money. So at this time, I hope I'll come back to you. So I don't even know what was you know, going on in his mind. He didn't even talk to me about it. So when he was going to work, he just called me and said he was going back to work and blah, 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 blah. I was like, ah, oh, wow. If you know my husband, my husband is very laid back. He doesn't talk too much. So I was like, hey, 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 hey. It is finished. This one has already 
my career. Oh God, the only one thing I have lived for. Oh Jesus, the only one thing I am so sure I want. This man has just ruined my career. <laughs> so my husband went to work and he came back. I think after two weeks, and he. He didn't still talk about it. So when I saw him, I was like, ah, Chama, what's it happen now? <coughs> we're just like, tell your dad we are coming for introduction. I was like, you don't want to you don't want to pretend to me like um, you didn't hear what my dad said, I don't know how to do any chores. Uh -huh. And the actor my husband gave to me just Killed me, and he said to me, If you don't know how to do chores, you don't know how to cook. Okay, now you go hustle now, you go employ cook, you go employ maid, Abby. So, if that's the only problem, let's you know carry on. And we went ahead with our wedding, and even till our wedding, I just felt like my dad was this witch that didn't want my progress, so that would drive me a lot uh, in my marriage. I a lot of things I would have, you know, called generally to tell him I did not because at the back of my mind I felt he was just wicked. So, but thinking about it today, I am grateful he did that because I was just busy trying to be wife material 100 years, you know. My husband would come back, I would do this, I would do that for him, I would clean him. And here is my father saying that. I don't know how to do house chores. So to him, he was like, This girl is pretending. So we got married, and into the marriage, I felt I started to realize that my husband didn't expect so much from me. The days I can wake up and make breakfast, he's fine with it. The days I can't wake up, he is fine with it. So I'm like, What the heck? What the hell? So this man was not even expecting me to be wife material 1,000 years. He just gave me a lot of leverage. Like, it was just like I leveraged on the fact that my dad said I didn't know how to do house chores. And he didn't give me so much problems. So I am grateful for that. <laughs> I'm so, so grateful he, he did that. So he, he gave me a lot of slack. Okay? And just let me be. So I, we didn't have so much problem when it comes to cooking and all those kind of stuff. We didn't have so much problem. It gave me a lot of slack, yeah. So, that's it. So, <coughs> African parents, sometimes when they are doing this, they are crazy stuff. It's not always uh, backfiring. If you if you meet the right man, it, it doesn't always backfire. Sometimes it's just good they did what they did. <coughs> <coughs> so, that is it. So let's continue and make the breakfast, then I'll come back to give you part two <laughs> of another crazy thing he said. Um, so let's just do what we're I think I'm just tired of this thing. Let me take it down. I want to go take my bath. So another thing he told him that I felt like this man 
<laughs> I'm sure my village people is using you because if my village people is not using you, what other explanation do you want me to give? Was as of when I got married, I was still in school, and my dad told my husband that he doesn't want us to get married because. I'm still in school and he's so sure that once I get married that I'm not going to go to school anymore and then my husband is going to tell me to picking factory. Those were his words. So picking factory means when you have like excessive children. Let me <gasps> my god, I was like, damn, what is this? So after so much appealing and so much begging. He finally accepted for us to get married and I was like ah, which kind of like I'm like who, who does this to their child every, every parent should be happy that their child is trying to get married right but good morning mommy good morning how are you you, you didn't wear your church clothes I was mm -hmm. so online class we're going to church and you did rub cream too. I rub cream. Okay, whatever. Go rub show in my room. Put on your clothes, okay? Yeah, I did. So, but anyway, we got married, and most of the time when my I will feel like so tired. I don't want to go to school. I'm just weak. I want to stay at home. <laughs> my husband would just <laughs> would just literally drag me off from the bed and his word like his words would be like so it was not me or father say I I turn you into a picking factory and you didn't go to school. My friend get up and go to school. So for all the period I was married, there was no day I didn't go to school till the last day. In fact I felt I went to school more than when I was single because some of the days I was single I'll just chill in my room and I won't go to school. But once I got married I was going to school every day. There was nothing that was going to stop me from going to school. So if in case you don't know, yes, I just we did the do and the baby came immediately. So we didn't even have any space to breathe. I think hope is back, I'm here in his car. Then we just said uh, so sometimes with the pregnancy I'll be so so tired I don't want to go to school but this guy will literally drag me up from bed to school. Sometimes I'll say I, I don't have strength to drive. My guy will say, okay, no problem, we'll hire a driver. So I had driver most of my period in school by father yeah. I was just saying madam in my mind I was madam hiring driver who do not know the rationale behind the driver to school like some people are wondering like ah young girl and she's being driven like madame like you know <laughs> but they didn't understand i'm just trying to rush this thing before my husband gets inside because if he gets inside he's going to interrupt this video i'll be shy to talk about it because he won't let me upload it so so i felt this thing's just you know made us know some things we needed to know in our relationship and it also made my husband know how to treat me more because he knows that I'm mm -hmm. trouble with them of course. Mm -hmm. Hey we won't be church. No, I'm 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 trying to be the church now. How was church today? Awesome. Welcome. Where's Sammy? She's up there. Sam? Ah uh, you're inside house now. Why are you still wearing me? I should come and snap you. Okay. okay. So snappy walk. So it made us know certain things that we wanted to do in our relationship and it made us, it made him also know how to treat me because if he doesn't treat me right, he knows that my papa is coming for me. Don't say I didn't tell you. So he said I should come and snap a picture. So let's go outside, let's go and snap a picture for me. Thanks, Papa. If I watch it, this is a snapping picture. So, guys, that is it. So, um, I just made breakfast, took my husband picture. I'm everybody's photographer. So let me go get ready for church. Um, I'll give you the third one. 
when I get ready for church. Um, that is it. So where is my shower cap? I don't even know. Like I don't even know where everything went to. I don't understand why. I don't know. Like I usually have a specific spot where I keep them, but today attire. So I'm done. I'm going to church. I am so so late. So so late. My <laughs> this thing will be wobbling a lot. My road is so bad. So um let me just finish. Um so that's it. So um I felt like my husband added so much pressure for me to make sure I finish school and not have extra year because of how my dad insisted that I should finish school and even after we got married and then we moved back home my my dad didn't relent he was still trying to he was he was literally sending my school fees to me till i graduated he was sending my school fees so the last school fees he was supposed to pay was that year i got married and he still sent it to me but yeah I, the guy don't even give it to her but your girl pocketed the money since the guy wants to spend his money your girl pocketed the money and and just you know chill although i didn't even take that final year money from my husband I, I ended up paying the money because i was like for this man to even send the money so i ended up paying the money i didn't i didn't i, I can't remember asking for my final year money from my husband i paid the money so all these things just help us because we were still young then there is little or nothing we knew about marriage as, as of when we got married so we just was we were just taking um the whole stuff by <laughs> we're just taking we're just uh, uh, uh throwing the coin and wherever it, it finds us we just take it but these things these little things my dad did just help my husband understand that he has to treat me rightly that there were family members that were there to question him if i'm hot or if anything happens to me so i'm um, right now thinking about it i am so so grateful so so grateful you know then i was thinking like he was doing me bad he was wicked he was being too strict this is just a few there's a lot of things he did i was thinking he was being too strict i was even thinking that our village people were using him to stop me from getting married but at the end of the day looking back at it now i just felt like he did the, the best he could do and he did the right thing because a lot of those things has helped mold the way my husband treat me like him he doesn't expect so much from me because from the beginning my father don't tell you say <laughs> if you buy you are not returning so he doesn't even think of no matter how much arguments we have he doesn't even think of telling me oh, we are separating me so he just have the mind that we can always work it out and he doesn't we don't he doesn't run to my parents no matter what i do to him he doesn't just run to my parents and start reporting me he tries to control this so he, he's more calm than me so he tries to control this whole thing and just um try to sort it out with me so i feel those things helped our marriage helped us grow up faster in the marriage and just literally made us who we are and i'm so so grateful he did all these things as of then i saw him like wicked it really marred my relationship with him i i was just like i'm done with this guy as i grew older in the marriage and older with knowledge and wisdom and older i just felt like it was all these things that this man did that helped us in our relationship and I'm, I'm so so grateful i am happy in case he's watching this video happy lolo i love you papilo <laughs> i love you i love you i really appreciate everything you did so let's go to church uh, i'm going to bring you guys along but not in this vlog let me just end this vlog here and say i love you guys i really appreciate you guys watching my videos it, it means a lot to me thank you thank you so much everyone that's watching my video and please please share for me share share my videos so subscribe watch my ass thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i love you guys so i'll bring you back, uh, guys to church but it's another vlog so i think this one will go up first before the church vlog so thank you bye